Ooh. Ooh. Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder doing all of my super kid stretches. That's right, I'm training to be a super kid. Next up, lifting weights. One, two, three. Oh. Lifting weights, check. Can't forget my jumping jacks. One, two, three. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Training to be a super kid, are you? You got that right, Ollie. I'm planning on being a super kid, so I'm doing all the right things to train. Following plans is a good thing to do. I know whose plans you can trust. Who? Who? Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. I was just fixing this toy for my neighbor. Do you know what animal this is? <laughs> That's right. It's a lion. <laughs> oh, and speaking of lions, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno. Dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible starts with... Daniel! Daniel loved God and prayed to God every day. Daniel knew that he could always trust God. Daniel worked for the king. <laughs> king Darius. King Darius liked Daniel because Daniel was very wise and worked very hard. The king liked Daniel so much, he wanted to put him in charge of everything. But this made some other people very jealous and angry. These angry people did not want the king to put Daniel in charge of everything. So they thought of a way to get Daniel in trouble. They knew that Daniel prayed to God every day. So they decided to trick the king into making a new rule. The new rule said that no one could pray to God. They could only pray to King Darius. And if anyone broke this new rule, they would be thrown into a den of hungry lions. Oh my! Do you know what a lion sounds like? Let's all pretend to be lions together. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa! Oh, very good. Now, the new rule said that people couldn't pray to anyone but the king. But who did Daniel pray to every day? <laughs> yes, Daniel prayed to God every day. Do you think the new rule made Daniel stop praying to God? No, Daniel was brave. He knew he could be strong and courageous because he trusted God. So Daniel prayed to God every day, just as he always did. When the angry people saw Daniel praying to God, they ran off to tell the king. 
King Darius, they said. Daniel was praying to God and not to you. Throw him into the lion's den. <sighs> the king was very sad. He didn't want to throw Daniel into the lion's den, but he had to follow his new rule. So Daniel had to go into the lion's den. But Daniel was brave because he knew he could trust God. King Darius said to Daniel, I hope the God you pray to every day saves you from the lions. All night long, the king worried about Daniel. When it was morning, the king ran to the lion's den and called out, Daniel, did the God you pray to every day save you from the lions? Daniel answered, yes, king. God sent an angel and shut the mouths of the lions. I'm not hurt at all. Everyone say, yay, God. Yay, God. <laughs> the king was so happy that he wrote a new rule saying that everyone should pray to the one true God. Daniel trusted God and God helped Daniel be brave. God can help you be brave too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Daniel was brave and trusted God. We can be brave and trust God, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Daniel was brave because he trusted God would take care of him, even in the lion's den. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I was doing a lot of good things to trying to be a super kid, but the best thing I can do is trust God, because God can help me be brave. I'll see you next time. Bye! Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6